Welcome to the ADF Mobile Insider Series, which gives you an in-depth look at the technology and features in ADF Mobile. My name is Katarina Obradovic-Sharkic, and this presentation is about adding charts to your ADF Mobile application. The ADF Mobile framework includes a number of visualization components, such as charts, gauges, thematic, and geographic maps. This demo shows how to build and format bar, pi, and combo charts. It shows how to create the charts using the data binding, how to change series colors and marker types using the series style tag, how to format the numbers on the y-axis and configure the chart legend. Here is a simple ADF mobile application that shows a list of departments and employees. I can click on a department to see its name, address and a list of employees. Here is a list of all the employees. I can click on an employee to view their name, address, and phone number, as well as their compensation information. Now let's add some charts to this application. This is our application, OpenDJ Developer, and here is the page that I added for my charts. First, I'm going to create a bar chart displaying the salary versus total compensation information for each employee. I'm going to drag the employees collection into the page. And here are all the different components that I can create. I'm going to choose to create an ADF mobile chart. A component gallery comes up, and here are all the different chart types that we support. I'm going to choose to create a bar chart. In this dialog, I'm going to lay out the data for my bar chart. So I'm going to drag salary and total compensation to the bars and employee last name to the x-axis. And I'm going to type in the labels for the legend. A new bar chart is inserted. I'm going to change the legend position to be on the bottom instead of the end for a better layout. And I'm going to add a new title for this bar chart. I'm also going to add new rollover behavior for the bars. Next, we're going to create a pie chart displaying the distribution of employee salaries. Again, I'm going to drag the employee collection into the page, and I'm going to choose to create an ADF mobile chart. This time, from the component gallery, we're going to choose a pie chart. Click OK. This pie is going to display employee salaries. And for the slices, we're going to display employees' first names. And that is also going to be displayed as a label in the legend. A pie chart is created. I'm also going to add a legend. From the chart engage child tags, I'm going to drag a legend tag into the page. And I'm going to specify for this legend position to be on the bottom. We can also specify the rollover behavior for this pie chart to be dim. Now let's deploy our application in an iOS simulator to see our charts. Here is our application in the iOS simulator. From the Employees page, I can click on the Trends button to see the charts we just created. Here is our bar chart. For each employee, we can see their salary and total compensation. Using touch gestures or a mouse in the simulator, I can click on a bar which highlights that whole series and dims the other series in the graph. And the same also happens when using the legend. Now let's look at the pie chart. This pie chart is displaying salaries for each employee. I can click on a slice or use a touch gesture to highlight that slice and dim the other slices. And I can also do the same for the legend. Now let's go back to JDeveloper and create a combo chart with data about compensation history and commission percent. Again, I'm going to drag the employees collection from data control palette and I'm going to choose to create an ADF mobile chart. 
For the chart type, we're going to choose a combination chart. And for the quick start layout, we're going to choose the one with the legend. In the data binding dialog, we are going to choose total compensation, total compensation from last year, and commission percent to be our data points. And on the x-axis of the chart, we're going to display the last name. I'm going to type in some labels uh, for the attributes to display in the legend. We're going to click OK, and a new combo chart is created in the page. I'm going to change the legend position to be on the bottom and specify rollover behavior for this chart to be dim. I'm also going to specify a new title for the chart. By default, a combination chart displays series as bar, line, and area. I want to change this default behavior to display two bars for compensation and a line for commission percent. To do this, I need to add a new AMX facet named Series Stamp. This facet is used to format the series. Now for each of the three series, we are going to add a series style tag. For each series style tag, I'm going to specify a series name that matches the chart data item series above, and I'm also going to specify whether it's going to be a bar or a line. So the first series style is going to be for the total comp series. And we're going to change the type to bar. The second series is going to be total comp from last year. And it is also going to be a bar. And for the third series, we are going to keep its type to line and the series name is going to be commission percent. It is very important to have the same series name between the chart data item tag and the series style tag. We are also going to assign the commission percent series to Y2 axis because commission percent is using different scale from compensation. And we're going to change its color to yellow. Next, we're going to show how to format the Y2 axis tag to display decimal numbers for the commission percent. So from the component palette, chart and gauge child tags, we're going to drag the Y2 axis tag onto the combo chart. Inside the Y2 axis tag, we're going to insert a tick label tag. Next, we're going to switch to the ADF mobile AMX page on the component palette and put a converter number tag inside a tick label tag. On the convert number tag, we're going to specify the minimum and maximum fraction digits to be two. This is going to ensure correct number formatting for our Y2 axis. We are now ready to deploy our application in the iOS simulator. And here is our application running in an iPhone simulator. I click on Employees, then Trends to see our charts. Here is our bar chart that we created earlier. Here is the pie chart for employee salaries. And here is our combination chart. The bars are displaying total compensation and total compensation for last year for each employee. And the line is displaying commission percent. For more information about ADF Mobile, please visit the ADF Mobile page on Oracle Technology Network.